Hey guys, so in case you didn't know, there is a cure for cancer. There always has been. Government's gotta make their money. I know, I know, calm down. Look, I get it. It's quite alarming to see two uploads in a row on the August the Duck channel that have nothing to do with cooking, but I promise this is not a cry for help, okay? However, the video we're gonna be watching today might make you wanna cry, so uh, there's that. Because we are back once again, two days in a row, talking about TikTok conspiracy theorists. Yesterday, we talked about our friend Mario, who believes in poop magic and how the government is using the poop numbers to inflate the elections, you know, something like that. Today, Today we are talking about something a little more mainstream, I guess. The good old theory about how there's always been a cure for cancer. And we'll be getting that theory from the TikToker Kendall Allen. And TikToker is the credential I will stick with because this woman is not a nurse or a doctor or any sort of person who has anything to do with the medical field. Just a person who has access to Google, which in 2023 is credentials enough to start your own echo chamber. So, uh, not really surprised. Real quick before we begin, I want to talk about something I've seen in my comments section a few times when talking about these kinds of videos on TikTok. I don't really see it that often, but occasionally I'll see the sentiment of like, why even cover these videos? Because obviously nobody believes this stuff. It's just one person making a video. It's sadly not. Like my most recent upload where I talked about Mario and the poop magic. Wow, what a sentence. If you go to that guy's TikTok and you look in the comments, there are thousands upon thousands of people being like, oh my God, how did I not see this sooner? Trust me, I am able to distinguish between a conspiracy theory that someone's just making up and a community of people who are actually doing harm to the people around them by spreading misinformation. Those are the kinds of videos I cover. With that being said, let's begin. Please subscribe. Hey guys, so in case you didn't know, there is a cure for cancer. There always has been. All right, so I'm not really sure what she means by this. There are two different interpretations of the word cure when it comes to cancer. One is like the cure for cancer. Like we find a drug or we find a method that if somebody has cancer and they do this or they take this thing, it's gone and it will never come back. We do not have that. But we do have cures for cancer like surgery or chemotherapy, bone marrow transplants, things like that cure people of cancer, but it can't guarantee that it'll never come back, which is what we're actively looking for. For her to say there's always been a cure for cancer and implies that what she's talking about is that thing, the thing that's gonna make cancer go away forever. But what she's talking about has been documented to not do that. So I don't know if she's implying that things like chemotherapy or surgery don't really work, or if she's just ignoring that the method she's gonna talk about has had people die. Not sure. Okay, so Dr. Brzezinski, while he was studying to get his PhD, he was in medical school, he was taking biochemistry, and he was studying peptides, which are your amino acids that bond together, your body has 20 total amino acids, okay, that the science field, the science community knows of, okay, they've been discovered. All right, so if you don't know who Dr. Brzezinski is, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of depth because explaining the entire story would take quite some time, but basically he's a doctor who claims to have come up with his own form of cancer treatment. There's a whole lot of claims he's made, like it's more effective, it's more personalized to the person who's actually getting the treatment, when in reality, none of his research or any of his claims have ever been proven or approved, but because theorists like this generally find the things that the government doesn't like or doesn't approve of to actually be good just because the government doesn't like it, well, you get stuff like this. 20 amino acids that form together, bond together, and they form their peptides, which is what he, he studying. And peptides are your proteins. That your body needs this. They need them to function. Every organ system needs these to function, okay? And no, your protein's not your main source of energy, so stop eating so much protein like it's your main source of energy. It's not. Okay, I don't know what that really has to do with cancer being treatable all of a sudden, but yeah, I mean, okay. Carbs are your main source of energy, but protein's not too far behind. You should definitely be eating protein. I don't even know why she said this. Anyway, not the point. So, yeah, he discovered that there was an unknown strand of peptide bonds in healthy humans that have never been discovered yet that aren't in people with cancer. So what's, he's like, what's the difference here? These people are having, these people don't. So let's like take it out of them and put it into them, right? Like that has to be the problem it is. That's literally been the problem the entire time. And the government knows that. Um, okay, no. No, it's not. That's not the problem, like, at all. I mean, it's not like this was an observation made during an extensive study of every cancer patient's blood work ever. That's another thing I don't think these theorists quite get, is that cancer is not, like, a single thing. There are so many different kinds of cancer, and they all have to be treated differently. People have died during the trials of Dr. Brzezinski. It's clearly not the end-all answer. Like, this guy has received funding from cancer research institutes. Like, they did not just throw this guy to the streets. They 
wanted to see if what he was talking about actually had some validity, and nothing has ever come from it. It was shown to not be effective, but he just can't give it up. I mean, if you go on their website, parts of their treatment plan and like their treatment philosophy are in quotes because they can't legally say it without them. This stuff is not the answer. So he extracted these healthy, undiscovered, unknown peptide bonds out of the urine of healthy people and infused them into people with cancer and within months. I'm talking about stage four lethal cancer on their deathbed. Cured and the cancer never came back. They were like healthy as a horse. Like they like they just resumed their life and went on. And he did this with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of patients. By the way, his office is based out of Texas. I would highly suggest you go there if you develop cancer and not go straight to chemotherapy, okay? So I don't want to call this a straight up lie, but uh, it, it's close. There has never been any medically accepted evidence that what Dr. Brzezinski does to patients is actually curing them. Now, I'm not here to say that it might not work because I mean, it might. We don't know. It might have helped some of the people who've gone through these trials. I I can't say for certain, but he's never published like a random controlled study, which is like what you do, to show that these drugs are actually doing anything. Like there is a lot of money to be made with cancer treatment. The cancer institutes want to find what works. They have no reason to shoot this guy down just because they don't like him or whatever. But he has yet to substantially prove what he's done is actually working. So he's manufactured this drug, which the FDA has agreed that it is non-toxic. What it is, is it's called phenylbutyrate, okay? And it's basically just your, it's these peptides and these amino acids out of these healthy people, form them into a pill, only manufactures them in his office because the FDA won't manufacture them because if they did, there would be a cure for cancer, okay? They have, the way the country doesn't want a cure for cancer. Why? Why do conspiracy theorists think that? What do you think the money from cancer is? It's the treatment. Do you think you're just getting taxed for having cancer? They're like, oh, you've got cancer. You owe us 50 grand. No, it's the money from, from the treatment, people. What do you mean the government doesn't want a treatment for cancer? If you think they're in it for money, that is exactly what they want. People are already going into millions of dollars of debt for chemotherapy that has a chance to not work. Do you really think that people wouldn't go into even more debt if it was guaranteed they would survive? Pharmaceutical companies are frothing at the mouth for a 100% effective cure for cancer. They'll be the richest entity on the planet. This idea that because people are in it for the money, they don't want a guaranteed way to cure cancer makes absolutely no sense. Whatever, so he takes this pill and you eat it and then that's, you're, you're cured. Uh, you don't fry your brain from chemo. You don't need to. How do people believe this? I mean, if it was that easy, why would we not hear more of it? If the government was really just in it for the long haul of money, which fairly enough they are, why would they not want a big chunk of the taxes from this cancer treatment payment and then be able to tax the person that survived from the treatment until they die? That's a lot more profitable than just having them die from cancer, right? There is no logic in this thinking. Anyway, so the FDA knows about this drug. They agree that it is non-toxic because it is. It's the, 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 mo the least harm, it's the only cure for cancer, okay? Okay, so this woman has fully just started to make things up at this point. Antineoplastins, which are the kinds of drugs that Dr. Brzezinski specializes in, are not the least harmful way to cure cancer. I mean, I would imagine that title is probably held by surgery. Not sure. But antineoplastins have been linked to a lot of bad things, including, like, neurological toxicity. So no, just like any other cancer treatment, they are not non-harmful. Everything has side effects. And why the FDA doesn't want, you know, everyone to know about, like, hey, these are here for cancer, is because how would the government be funded? Okay, let's let's start with this. If you, if you trust the FDA, you're an idiot because and you should know as soon as you open up the FDA's website and you see that they advertise recipes for beef and red meat as healthy, I don't know. That you just, you need to be educated, okay? Every single processed food that you put in your body has carcinogens, okay? It's not gonna advertise that, obviously. The government does that. They infuse your foods with carcinogens, okay? All right, so this is where we really start to kind of go off the rails here. So I went on the FDA's website. Um, don't know about you guys, but I couldn't find any recipes for a ribeye. I don't even know what she's referring to. Um, yeah, red meat every single day is not great for you, but red meat does have things that you need and eating red meat occasionally is healthy. This is where we really go down the crazy conspiracy theory route. Yeah, she's about to imply that the government is making everybody get cancer just so they can make money off of cancer treatment. I mean, there are probably more efficient ways to make money, like, I don't know, taxes, but yeah, no, 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 no. The government's giving us all cancer, absolutely. What these carcinogens do, they're cancer-causing molecules. Over time, we're eating all these processed foods with carcinogens, and then we develop cancer. 
that's the purpose of the government. Okay, that's what they're doing. So then we have no choice to pour our life savings into chemotherapy and radiation and fund the government. Government's got to make their money. All right, look. Does the government do some stinky things to make money? Absolutely. Everybody knows this. For example, I was driving through Oklahoma a few weeks ago, and I got a speeding ticket for going 82 and a 75, which I don't care what you say, that's not even speeding. Okay? Had to pay the ticket. Called today, actually, because I kind of forgot about it, not gonna lie. And they were like, all right, so you've got two options, Mr. Bruce. You can either, one, pay the fine, and you'll be in a three-year probation period. And if after three years, you have no more moving violations, it will be removed from your record. Or you can pay an extra $100 on top of that fine and that three year period will be cut down to three months. What did I do? I paid the extra $100 because if I ever have my license revoked because of the state of Oklahoma, I'm gonna lose my mind. So yeah, the government does some not so cool things to pad their pockets. However, giving everybody cancer so we have to pay for cancer treatment, that's, that's a little far-fetched, okay? I I'm gonna go out and say that, all right? Don't really think that's going on. So guys, uh, yeah, I'm a little riled up, if you can't tell. I've lost a lot of family members to cancer, and people coming on the internet like this saying that there's some magical pill that this guy came up with that for some reason the FDA won't approve because they just want to make money. Even though, you know, a pill that guarantees a cure for any kind of cancer would be the most profitable invention ever made in human history. Yeah, for some reason the people who just want to make money don't want in on that invention. Yeah, crazy, I know. But look, I'm done talking about it. The people who are already buying into this stuff are not going to listen to logic anyways, so uh, why waste my breath? If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.